Harrington is in East Palo Alto, where people spent the evening sandbagging around their homes. Alyssa? Well, that's right. And behind me is that levee where crews are hard at work. They've been wheeling in truckloads of sandbags, gearing up for more rain tomorrow. While most people spend Christmas Eve stacking presents under the tree, some East Palo Alto residents spent their night stacking sandbags, protecting their homes near a damaged levee in preparation of more rain. We're just prepping here, picking up more sand. Sunday night, the San Francisco Creek spilled over the levee, flooding the gardens neighborhood between Daphne Way and Verbena Drive. We were swarmed with so much water last night that we had to run out. Lucas Brown's home was one of several evacuated. How's this affecting your Christmas? Terribly, horrible, horrible. They set us back. He says they could not do any last minute shopping and spent the night with his eight kids in his car. <laughs> A block away, things are getting back to normal in the Robinson home. They too were evacuated and are thankful their house was not damaged. It was like up this high and we were afraid that it was going to go in there. But when we got back, there was no water damage to the house. Their next door neighbor, not so lucky. His home is off limits, deemed unsafe after water got inside and affected electrical outlets. The creek has receded, but of major concern are boils and seepages in the levee. Mayor Ruben Abrica says they're working on a long term solution, but for now have engineers out here for a quick fix before the next rain. We're actually going to be working all night tonight to raise the level of the levee, reinforce it with uh, sandbags. He plans to appeal to the state for resources. Meanwhile, Lucas Brown has his own appeal, a Christmas wish, you might say. Hopefully they'll fix these levees that uh, we don't have to go through this once again. And the fire chief told me this is the third time in recorded history that flooding this bad has happened in this area back in the 90s and before that in the 1950s. The California Conservation Corps and city maintenance crews are out here making repairs. The mayor says that a long term project will begin next year in East Palo Alto. Alyssa Harrington, CBS 5.